video is just going to be a simple ear to ear whispered ramble. A lot of you have asked me to make more of these on my channel, and I feel like next to the unintelligible whispering videos that the whispered rambles are the second most requested video on my channel. And when I first started making videos, these were actually my least favorite to make. Part of that was because it just, to me, felt so strange and awkward to be just talking to a camera. And most of the time about the things that I just found so boring and unimportant. But when I started doing my Get to Know Me series, I really started to enjoy making these videos. And so I'm going to try to make more of them on my channel this year. For those of you who do like um, specific types of videos, whether it's whispered rambles or mouth sounds or unintelligible whispering videos, I have made playlists of each one of those and if you just go to my channel page you will find those playlists and all of the videos that I have made have been added to those. So for instance if you like the whispered rambles there's a playlist that has every single whispered ramble that I have ever made on it and if you'd like you can just start from the beginning and play one after another if those are the types of videos that you like. Um, someone had asked me recently if I ever experienced ASMR from my own videos, and I believe I briefly touched on this in one of my videos, I think last week or the week before. But no, um, me personally, I don't ever experience it. Um, I wish that I could just kind of go to my playlist and click on something like gum chewing or mouth sounds and just have it going in the background because those are the types of videos that I usually listen to throughout the day. A lot of my work that I do is online and so I like to have something that just is kind of sound related to play during the day, such as um, mouth sounds or gum chewing, sometimes eating videos. But my own videos never work for me. And I had mentioned in um, my last video that part of that, I believe, is because um, I'm just too busy finding imperfections in what I upload. So I think that's a big deal, or a big part of it, I guess I should say. Something else that I wanted to talk about in this video is my new mic. Last month, I uploaded the first video with this mic, and it was like a trigger variety back video. And that video basically contained just a bunch of triggers, and I spent a couple of minutes on each one just because I wanted to get an idea of how each one would sound with this microphone. And in that video, I said that I was not going to let anyone know what type of microphone that I had decided to purchase until I received feedback from you all as to what you thought. My reason in doing that um, was because I feel as though there are so many brand name microphones and specifically ones that a lot of, I suppose, the more popular ASMR content creators have and everyone is just so focused on those mics. And I have to admit, I have been as well. I really enjoy the sound of the 3DO and the Zoom H4n, but for me, I just wanted to give something else a try. And so, uh, I did. I did not go with one of the well-known brands as far as ASMR goes. And I have kind of just rigged my own little setup up 